Welcome back to another video my friend, I'm Blake and you're you, and this is an updated Rakdos Sacrifice list for Explorer. Now let's get into the deck, the first thing to note is that there is no Anvil. No Anvil makes this deck a little better in my opinion right now on the ladder and it plays out really, really well. So we obviously are running the Cat Combo as you can see, so 4 Cauldron Familiar, 4 Witch's Oven. We also have 3 Voldaren Epicure. Four Unlucky Witness is a new card out of New Capenna. It is a 1-1 for 1, and when it dies, exile the top two cards of your library, and until your next instep, you may play one of those cards. So very good sacrifice fodder that digs us two and lets us play one of those cards. It's extremely good. We're also running four Claim the Firstborn. This is probably my favorite addition to the deck. It allows you to steal those early threats and then sack them to whatever you can for maximum super fun removal value. I absolutely love it. We're running two Village Rights as a nice sack ally that can draw us cards. Three Fatal Push to also deal with those threats. Four Deadly Dispute is just an awesome card draw engine plus sacrifice fodder and you get to run two crocs so just because it's an awesome card it's great in the late game it puts the tempo on in the early game if you drop it down on two it gets to sacrifice which triggers one of your four mayhem devils it's doing all those amazing things so a lot of cards you've seen also running two fable of the mirror breaker it creates a treasure token when you get to attack you can copy your mayhem devils with the the enchantment side it lets you loot it's just such an amazing card and then funny enough two carter doom scourge at the top end actually closes out a lot of games because you get to force them to attack you can do funny blocks with your cauldron familiar and your witch's oven you get to create and gain and drain life and it's actually a really good fun top end for lands let's see how many lands we have in the deck we have just 22 lands works totally fine i'm just running what i have which includes some shocks some summits and then one sokazan and one takanuma and we also get to run gigantha in the companion slot so a pretty a lot of typical cards in this list but i think specifically adding claim the firstborn and keeping a low curve cutting out the anvil makes this deck a lot better right now in the meta so before we begin i do have a request if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing i'm trying to grow the channel to get it monetized and the hardest thing to do about that is getting subscriptions i know that subscribing doesn't really mean a lot on youtube anymore i don't really use it myself to curate a feed or anything but if you'd be willing to do that it would help me out a lot and i would appreciate it now without further ado let's get into some games and see what this deck can do on the play i think this is totally fine we can start off with an unlucky witness and also get a, a cauldron familiar maybe play those village rights and then on turn three we've got the mayhem devil i think this will be just fine so let's start off with this blood crypt i think we want to get unlucky witness in there first in case we decide we want to draw some cards next turn which we probably will let's see what our opponent is going here oh i love seeing claim the firstborn early well, let's put out this cauldron for familiar do our drain one swing in here attack and then on their instep we're going to unlucky witness to the village rights to draw us effectively four cards we only get access to three of them but we're going to effectively draw four cards and that just feels extremely extremely good okay we see lucky clover we'll go ahead and do this we are playing teamer adventure so being able to steal their uh, little guy that draws them cards is going to be really really good they do get a look at what we're doing and then I think Fable here out of the Unlucky Witness is good enough to just go ahead and start here. And we're going to just keep on rolling. We get our little Shaman down. We can claim the Firstborn if they play a creature next turn. And then also Deadly Disputed is going to be extremely good. They do just get down another Clover. That's fine. And then we also see this little 1-1. One -one. So that's pretty great for them. We're going to put up a lot of blockers and that's going to put a lot of pressure on. So we're going to probably be playing a little bit of slower game here let's see what can we discard we definitely don't need this many lands right now i want the mayhem devil and i don't think we actually need another fable two fables with the mayhem devil could be pretty funny let's go ahead and get rid of just that swamp put down a summit let's actually get another fable down and just go hard on this right here and then let's go ahead and see if they want to give us two of these tokens. We'll make a treasure. Could come in handy. And I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing all right here. We actually get to steal their Lovestruck Beast next turn, so that's going to be pretty awesome. They're going to get a lot of value off these Lucky Clovers, though, whenever they start casting whatever other spells they have. So that is a little frightening. That is for sure a little frightening. 
Okay, wow, they gotta wipe the whole board, so that's pretty sad. Now the question is, do I Deadly Dispute and sack my own thing? I think I actually keep it as a way to remove whatever they play. So pretty sad that they're gonna get so much value out of this Bone Crusher. I actually don't know for sure if we can come back from this. That is just way too much going on. That is really brutal. That is really, really brutal. Wow. My dog says hi. Hello to the crowd, everyone. He wants to hang out. Okay, what are we doing here? Probably just getting down a Mayhem Devil and then holding up and chilling. Discard up to two. I think we kind of want all of these things. Fatal Push will come in handy against either the Lovestruck Beast or the Mayhem Giant. Or not the Lovestruck Beast or the Bone Crusher Giant. We've got three mana available for some shenanigans, and I think we say a go. Hopefully we can copy a couple Mayhem Devils and then just get crazy power damage through that way. I think that will be the way we go. I think that's our line of play here. We're also going to get to claim this card. So that's going to feel pretty nice. That'll be great. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let us... Now, we don't have a 1-1, one -one, so that's pretty sad. So we won't get to actually attack with that Love Drug Beast. So, let's go ahead, though, and claim the Love Drug Beast as our own. And then, how do we want to sack this thing? Probably want to Deadly Dispute it. We're not going to get to attack, so we're going to go ahead and do this first. Actually, hold on. Before we do that... Oh, and they go ahead and give us the game. We were going to copy the Mayhem Devil and then do it and then go crazy. Let's keep rolling and get another game. All right, on the draw, double claim the Firstborn. Not ideal. Getting down Epicure and then having the Fatal Push is pretty good. If we can draw a Witch's Oven, these will be really good. But it's a little awkward to have two of these with no Sack Outlet in hand. That makes them significantly worse. So I don't know for sure if I was supposed to keep this deck. Hmm. Okay, now that we draw that, I do feel a lot better. Because that allows us to turn three, claim this Soul Scar Mage for our own. We're going to get to swing him for some damage. And then we get to Deadly Dispute it. So that will feel pretty darn good. If they play another one, or something else scary, we can also Fatal Push this next turn. Whatever it is they're going to play. I think we're fine to take whatever damage is coming down. And then we'll hold up Fatal Push. And then turn three, claim the firstborn into Deadly Dispute. I think is our line of play here. Spectacle, that is quite nice. They get to draw some cards. Luckily, just lands, so they're going to miss those. But I think they get those until next turn. Yeah, those are quite good. Um, we'll just take three for now. I think that's okay. We have a good amount of ways to gain life. We're just doing this. Um, we'll go ahead and get our chip damage in as well. And then see whatever they're wanting to play here as a three drop. We also can sack the blood to hit a 3-drop with the Fatal Push if we need to. So if they play something really scary here for 3 mana, that's actually not a problem for us. We're, we're kind of fine. Especially with these two lands, we can just toss one of those really easily. So we, we are in a pretty good position. We can flex to a lot of different plays that they make here. Whether they play something small. Pyromancer is totally fine. Now I'm tempted to... I think we Fatal Push the Soul Scar Mage and then steal the Pyromancer and sack that next turn. Start shutting off some of that damage that they're wanting to do. That resolves. And then we're going to steal this 3-2. That's going to feel great. Okay. Now we need red and then black plus one of anything. So double red is fine. Let's play the prettier claim the firstborn first, just because it looks so cool. Do that, and then we get to draw some cards. So that's pretty great. Okay, nice little play there. Nice little play. Um, I think we'll just hold off on that treasure. I don't think getting a witness down right now super helps us. Getting Fable to discard one of these extra lands is also going to be pretty sweet. So that will feel pretty good. So next turn, I think we play a, another Black Source and then go Fable into Witness. This might change things. We might need to find something to do with this because that's a lot of value. I won't so, but right now we also don't have a big play. We could steal the etching and swing in for three. Let's bring things up to a simmer. Oof. Yeah, that's really good. 
That's really quite good. Okay, looking for an answer to Chandra, because that's a lot of value coming. If I drew another sack outlet, I would be comfortable stealing something. Okay, we have several options here. Even if we claim the Firstborn here, and then play Fable, that's only 3 damage, and there's no way to sack it. So I think we actually play this, and we're searching for a way to kill one of these, searching for a sack outlet. So I think blocking with the Unlucky Witness here is pretty good. And then next turn, we also get to cycle away these two lands. So I think we can stabilize. Um, I would really like to get rid of Chandra, though. That's creating a lot of value. They have the option to add red and deal damage to us, or they can also just play a card off the top of their library. <clears throat> yeah, so they're going to keep adding red, which is an interesting choice. Watch me. Heat up Don't know if that's right for them or not. Well, that, that makes it work, yeah. That makes it work for sure. Huh? Smart. They get play with fire so they can hit our shaman if they want would probably be the way to go. That would probably be the way to go. They also are running long cards in hand, so we can definitely dig ourselves out of this if we can just hold off for a little bit here. Especially if we get cat, co cat oven combo going, then we really are going to stabilize no problem at all. And already I'm not too worried about what we have going on. Getting the Chandra is the biggest need right now, just because it can draw them cards, but they're not using it to draw cards, so that's been a pretty interesting choice on their end. Okay, they're going to load up Den here. What are we doing? How badly do I need the treasure from this? Probably not that badly. I don't think we're stressing about that treasure. I think we're blocking there, we're blocking there, and then let's just take this trade here. Or do we actually kill Soul Scar Mage? That could be interesting, right? Double block right there. What's worse? Then they have to fire up. But Den also makes them tokens. I think I like this block. I think this is fine. We're going to get to draw a lot of cards and see a lot of options here. Okay. Discard these two, and I just need a sack outlet, and we're really rolling. That's actually not bad. We get to make them attack into us. That feels great. I don't think it's worth claiming anything yet. I think we end this turn here. Make them attack us. We get a free block. Also gets to gain us life. As long as this doesn't die. As long as he doesn't kill Carter, we're kind of fine. There you go. Smart. Drawing on, cards. Think of something good. Lava runner. Okay, they're going to put the pressure on. we got to do something quick. we got to do something good quick. They also get to play with fire and kill Carter. But we do get to trade and gain a little bit of life. So that's pretty good. Okay, what's the worst threat here? Probably Soul Scar Mage, just because it can grow. And then they'll play with Fire Carter, I'm guessing, is their play. We also have the option to steal whatever two creatures they have left, so that's kind of neat. Okay. Makes sense. Why did we get smaller? Oh, because... Oh, wow, I didn't even catch that, actually. I, I honestly didn't realize how the Soul Star Mage worked. That is completely my bad. Okay, well, it's time to claim that Firstborn. Do I steal two things? I can steal Soul Scar Mage, pump it up, and then steal Lava Runner. I think we steal two things. Let's steal Soul Scar Mage. And then let's steal Etchings. Both attack face. Hey, Witch's Oven, let's get rid of Soul Scar Mage. 
And then we have a food to activate to protect us on life, and we hope that we stabilize. Woof. Puzzle of a game here. Puzzle of a game. Wow, that really says if a source you would control deals non-combat damage to a creature. Wow, it really shrinks it. It's pretty cool. They get to draw a free card. Skewer the critics. Probably just about enough to win us win them the game right there. I kind of feel like I need to keep Kiki Jiki just to have a chance to win. So let's just keep it, let him deal four, and hope we survive for one more turn. Oh, and that's going to deal three, so we can't even do that. We have to block. We have to block or we just take seven anyway. Wow. Nice. Good on ya. I think we probably lose. And they've got Skewer. Well done to you. Let them play the last spell and let's get us another game. Good job, penal, penal, Penny Royalty. Let's keep rolling. All right, going first. Two lands is, I think, completely acceptable. Start off with this Blood Crypt. And then I want to get down an Epicure in case we want to use this Blood to cycle away in case we don't hit that third land drop. Could be okay to cycle away a Mayhem Devil. But already next turn going Unlucky Witness into Boldarian Epicure feels pretty good. And then Village Rights plus Unlucky Witness is, of course, we've already seen quite a good play. So having that available to us next turn feels really good. I'm feeling well. Getting some early aggro on. Putting the pressure on. I think we're doing well here. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Um, I'm going to draw some guards. We are going to draw some cards off of this. Ooh, interesting. Let's go Oven for sure. And then Cauldron Familiar. Got the combo set up to gain us and drain us. I'm loving life. We get to now Chump Block, so that's great. Doing well. They probably are running a good amount of instants and sorceries then. Maybe this is mono red, like some kind of burn style? Lovely. And since they have no mana up, we can go ahead and just bring it back now. We're not at risk of it dying. Let's do that. Another oven. That's great. We'll take it. Now we can uh, double block in front of Anax and the Bloodthirsty Adversary. And then we can Witch's Oven Familiar twice and Village Rites the Oven. So that just puts so much hilarious pressure on. So let's go two blocks. Embercleave. Yeah, that makes it a lot better. We'll give you that. We we still have to do our whole play, but they're going to get to do about eight damage here. And that's going to happen regardless of whether or not we sack anyway because of the trample. So pretty brutal. Pretty brutal on us. Let's go ahead and just do our whole little combo right now while they're chilling with no mana available. Make them watch us gain a bunch of life just to show off. We still can probably come back, but that trample is going to be a real backbreaker. Give me one moment, my computer's about to die. Oh, the joys of playing on a laptop. Maybe one of these days I'll make it big and have an actual computer. Okay. 12 damage coming at me. We can gain two. I think we start and just hunt for an answer. If we draw a fatal push, we can get out. It's probably not going to do it. Is there any way out of this? I guess we just dig for a Fatal Push. I think is our one way out of here. Village Rights. Still not going to be enough. I think they got us. Good game. Let's get one more. I actually think that's okay because turn three, one, two, three drop with all of our lands. Not too bad. I don't think that's bad at all. Claim the Firstborn, lovely pairing with this nice little Witch's Oven, so I'm feeling good about that. Slower start than this deck 
can do, but it's also a pretty grindy deck, so I don't think that really punishes us. Unless they're playing a bunch of uh, counter spells, then that's a little sad. Okay, interesting. I've seen this deck before, but I don't remember what it is that I'm looking at. Luckily, we can steal these, even if it makes them huge later on. That'll feel good. That will potentially feel real, real good. Okay, so this is some sort of Thassa's Oracle deck, then. This might be the combo where every time you play a spell, you draw a card, and you just play a bunch of zero mana spells. That could be this. That definitely could be this. I train every day. Or it's Commit to Memory, and they're trying to not let us draw cards. Still a little confused, but that's okay. I think we still stick with this plan for now. I think we stick with this plan for now. We can steal the Conjurer next turn if we need to. Yeah, this is probably the... Every, there's an enchantment, I don't remember what it's called, it's 4 man, I think, but every time you draw a card, you, or every time you play a spell, this one, Song of Creation. This is Song of Creation combo, it's very annoying, they're probably going to win right here, um, but unless they, we get lucky and they fizzle out. So they play all these zero mana spells, and then they cap it off with a giant Thassa's Oracle at the end. Now luckily, they, they actually draw two, it's, it's actually ridiculous. But then if they don't make it through their instep, they have to, um discard their hand at the end. So we're going to just let them make prove that they have it. I'm not willing to give them the win for free. Now if they get to like 10 cards in hand, I'll probably just give it to them, but at some point you do just draw a bunch of lands. Okay. See, they drew all lands, so you don't give up when you see that deck. You do not give up. Um, what do we get rid of here? Epicure is not that good, and I don't know that we need another Blood Crypt. Oh, that was a huge mistake. Oh my gosh. Nice. Well then, I'm going to go ahead and snatch this, because I want Narset to be gone, at least. Because I want to draw my cards, you know. So we're going to do this, do this. We've got a wide open lane. Yeah, it's a little sad that they get that in their deck, but that's fine. If they top deck a land, we still just win. So that feels good. And then we get to Witch's Oven right here. And then we get to do another Fable. We get to do another Fable here. Okay, good luck. I hope they draw a land. Heck yeah. Okay, are we looking for anything specific? I mean, Mayhem Devil is good. But at this point, I might just want bodies on board. Of any kind. So I think we just go with this. And then we swing in for four. Putting on that pressure. Next turn, we've got seven damage. So that's two away. We're a little shy, but that's all right. That is all right. And we got it because they didn't draw their cards. Heck yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed the deck list. Let me know if you play it and have a great day, my friend.